Okay, I just got to my room. It's freaking hot outside. I thought it was gonna be cold because it's been cold the past few days. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Turn on all the fans. It's freaking hot in here. Oops. Okay. I went to a place called Alabama Seafood Market. They have live seafood or fresh fresh seafood. They have fresh shrimp and fresh crawfish if you wanted to buy um, live or if you wanted to buy boiled seafood. I got boiled crawfish. Um, just a pound. But now I regret it because it looks... I mean, this should be enough just for me. It's just me. And it has sausages in there already mm. Mm, some tiny ones and big ones and oof, i got the hot food i got the d3 that has shrimp fried shrimp and fried oysters it's supposed to come with fries but i substituted the fries to fried rice now i'm thinking i should have gotten extra fried rice because this looks pretty good um, they gave me some sauce for the shrimp and the oyster mm. but this is what I came for I've been wanting to get some seafood boil I need to go wash my hands be right back okay ready to feast it's hot today I looked at the weather and it said 60 62 and for some reason i was thinking that that was like cold or something <laughs> so i went out in a long sleeve and leggings oh i just washed my hands i got hot so as soon as i got back in my room i changed all right I'm so excited and harry potter is on repeat for the weekend hair power marathon so you should just put that on the weekends whenever it's on give me soy sauce the place was like a mom and pops it's a family owned business um the people that were there was like the son and the the dad or something i think it was the dad um, the son tends to the front and then the dad's the one that cooks. Okay, ready for this. Ooh. This here, seafood boil. Put my you see it? some pretty big shrimp fried oysters I might need to go back over there and get more food I mean at least on the weekends come back and it's so close but you go on the freeway you exit the first exit and it's right there probably should have taken my rings out too and then on the way back the same thing go on the freeway First exit, and I'm back in my hotel. It's not that hot anymore because I took some pit stops. Oh, I forgot to. I went to go to the commissary first to get water because I was running out. Charger sauce and cocktail sauce get water and milk because i have tea and i want to make milk tea all right tiny they're pretty tiny hello mm. i was gonna do shrimp as well but you had to get two pounds of shrimp for the boil and I was not gonna get two pounds because 
it's just me i don't know if i'd be able to finish it i mean probably could have finished it crawfish fat put in my rice fried rice is good mm. okay Some people are just like experts in peeling these. Me, not so much. Okay, come on. I squeezed you, you should be able to come out. Mm, I'm tiny, so. Ho ho. I'm sure but ask for like extra sauce on the side. Done. I think a pound is just fine. There's a lot in here and it's just me, so. Okay. Some heat, but it's not too spicy. They're not overcooked. They are soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have gone extra fried rice. So I spent all my morning looking for a place to get some crawfish boil. And I ended up with this one. I was gonna go to a restaurant but like looking at the menu most of the restaurants their crawfish is $9.99 a pound I got this for $5.19 a pound if you buy them live it's like four something a pound or three something a pound I think but if you have them cook it it's $5.19 a pound so I'd rather go to a spot like this than go to a restaurant pay more for, pay more money for the same Food and this tastes this this is actually good. You could taste the seasoning that they put in this. I just want to be able to like pull it out. I don't know how to do that. How do people do that? Okay, I guess I'll peel it like shrimp. They also do um live crabs or boiled crabs. Um it's blue crab, so I was gonna get one because it was one ninety nine for for one piece. Okay, no meat left behind. Get all the meat in the shell. But yeah, now that I know, next time I will get some. I think the grandpa gave me extra pieces of oysters. For this, it was supposed to be three, no, six pieces of shrimp, and then two, four, six, seven, six pieces of oysters. Got like a few extra pieces. Try that tartar sauce again. I don't know. It's pretty good though. It's like mayonnaise, horseradish, relish, some other seasonings that's pretty good. Mm. 
Man, I love how fatty these are. Extra, extra cholesterol. <laughs> I was worried that I wasn't that the one pound wasn't gonna be enough for me, but this is actually good. Mm, I see some fennel seeds in there. I don't know what kind of sausage that was. It's a sausage. The head of this one, this thing's fat. Oh, squeeze it out. Oh, ho, ho. into the rice. <laughs> I eat weird. <laughs> this with the cocktail I should want some lemon And this there's so much fried stuff that I haven't eaten yet we used to go crawfishing <laughs> when we were kids <laughs> my parents would take us to like I remember going to um, we went to just like a creek they were like where was that like Sacramento Redding somewhere up north it was just like a creek like we parked on the side of the road we got hot dogs and bacon as bait i think like we just we just tied the bacon or the hot dog on the line <laughs> dropped it in the water i don't even remember if we got anything or not we would also go i remember going to the sacramento river to go clam is it called clam fishing clamming <laughs> What's that? But yeah, that one was pretty easy. You just go in the water. We were we were just feeling for the clams with our feet while we're in the water, and then go down, scoop it up, and put them in a bucket. That was pretty cool. What else did we do when we were young? Fishing, gone fishing a few times. Crabbing, we would go crabbing. <laughs> it's so cold in San Francisco. Like we would go, we'd go at night when there's like less people. It's pretty fun. You get to bring home some Dungeness crabs whenever they were in season. And of course, you have to make sure that you don't bring the small ones. <laughs> I think it's like a pack of cigarette. The size of a pack of cigarette is the legal size that you could take them home. Anything under that, you're supposed to throw out supposed to when you get caught you get fined I have no complaints this is actually pretty good like I would go there for their hot food go back there for their hot food again and for this actually i think maybe next time i will try to get the two pound shrimp 
the shrimps were were fresh. They were in a bucket and water, and they get them from there, scoop them up, and then oh, this one is just all crushed. I'm not gonna eat that one. Mm, look at that. Putting that in my rice. Yes, I eat the fat. Crab fat. So good. Is it good for me? No. But I'll eat it anyway. <laughs> There's something in the spices that they put. It tastes like I don't know if it's cardamom. Kind of tastes like it. It might be cardamom. Maybe that seed that I saw wasn't. I don't know. It might be cardamom. But overall, good. I'm not dying of the spiciness because it's not that spicy. I think the heat level is just is good enough. I'm over here saving my oysters. I forgot to get lemon. This would be so good with lemon and butter. Here, I just dipped it in the cocktail sauce and then in the tartar sauce. Let's see if it's good. Oh, there's so many baby ones. Oh, there, is there no limit? Size limit on crawfish? pieces and go finish this up finish up my rice my oysters and my shrimp and i'm a happy girl see you guys next time